Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Mum coming to you from on location at the Governor's Mansion in Olympia. Perfect location to talk to Mike Kreidler, the Washington State Insurance Commissioner. Pleasure to have you. Thank you, Steve. Have you with us. You know, and if folks uh, maybe have been hit with a double digit insurance increase, a lot of us and are paying the bulk of their own insurance, you're saying you've got some good news uh, for them in terms of some new legislation. That's right. Up until this year, with this new law going into effect, all I could tell a consumer was that a rate increase was justified because we looked at the data. I couldn't explain why it was justified. I couldn't give any other data about it. All I could say was that it was justified. And I'm guessing the insurance industry is giving you hundreds of pages and all you can tell the public at prior was yeah or no. That's correct. That and, had and to be uh, frustrating. Very frustrating, especially when you get hundreds of phone calls like we do through our office. Uh, the insurance industry fought us uh, very hard on getting this law changed, but the consumers won one on this one. It means for the most vulnerable insurance of our insurance buying public, people in small business, and people mm -hmm. that, who buy their own health insurance individually, now are going to be able to get all of the information that's submitted to us, at, or they can look at the, the summary of that information, and which really breaks it out nicely for them. Well, and it's really become a critical need. A lot of people are forced between making the decision to fund their health insurance, sure. which for a lot of people, I, I, that's the, in many cases, one of the bigger expenses they have. It, it is. In fact, it can be more than their mortgage. Uh, it is a significant cost. If they get a double-digit rate increase, which the insurance industry has been doing for years, they like to know if it's justified or not because they're struggling to keep their health insurance and they're the ones paying for it. Well, absolutely. So as you're in the evaluative process to say whether a rate increase is justified, what kinds of things are you able to look at from the insurance provider? You're going you're gonna to be able to take a look at that rate filing and see how much of it goes to pay doctors, how much to hospitals, how much for pharmaceuticals, uh, how much of it goes to the chief executive officer's salary, how much goes to advertising. You get a nice breakout there from the standpoint of being able to take a look at it. And that, those are factors that we're going to look very closely at, particularly the costs that go to doctors and hospitals, to see if that's what's really driving this rate increase before we make a decision as to whether it's going to be approved or not. And then in your decision-making process, how much leeway does your office have to say these are really appropriate, legitimate expenses, or we think this has simply gone too far? We have a lot of flexibility, mm -hmm. and that's one of the nice things that comes in with the enhancements. Individuals uh, are going to be able to go online and be able to post comments relative to a rate increase even before I've taken action through the office. So they'll be able to offer comments to me. That's something that they weren't able to do before because they mm. couldn't, weren't told any of the details. Now they'll be able to offer specific comments and be notified by email of any pending action that's going to take place. So you can really, it's much easier for consumers to, to share their opinions. Absolutely. And that ability on your website is going to be coming up. It's not, not quite there, but coming soon. The, the second part of that where they post the comments, that comes in later this fall, already there is all of the information that is submitted to us by the insurer. In addition to that, there is a very uh, un understandable summary of what that rate increase is all about. So then, uh, how important do you think that transparency is? I know people have really been in the dark about this. How important is that transparency aspect of this? I, I think it helps in many respects to, for individuals, one, to know whether it's really justified. Are the doctors and hospitals costs going up in such a way that this rate increase is justified? I think they feel a lot more comfortable if they know that there are justified portions of that rate increase. That's what they want to know. Uh, and I think it, it affords them an opportunity to understand what the real cost drivers are. And as we move further along to health care reform, it's going to uh, make it easier for them to understand what goes into a rate increase and how they can help to hold down those costs. Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, I mean, part of it, it may be industry related, but just the cost of delivering the high tech health care, very, very expensive already. So there definitely is with health care reform another side of that equation. That's right. All of these improvements that are taking place in health care. I mean, clearly, uh, the emergency rooms and other places are, are not the same ones they were 20 or 30 or 40 years ago. All of those improvements that take place at the, in the medical setting are costs uh, that are borne by all of us. Absolutely We've, true, and I hate to jump in, but we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for the great information. That you, website's sir. on the screen. I hope people will go there. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you again next hour.